Thanks for staying with us. Uh, we're very thankful that we are able to have this moment. We're now going to our second hot topic for today, and uh, that is uh, that uh, APC party leaked memo, memo asked Nigerian police to arrest 16 notable pres persons in Kanu. Immediately, Supreme Court declares Gawuna as governor. Uh, to discuss this, we have Mohammed Abdullahi here joining us. Good morning and welcome to the program, Mohammed. Yeah, good morning, Nigerians. Always my pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this was disturbing when we saw it. APC, in a leaked memo, asked Nigerian police to arrest 16 notable persons in Kano. We also saw in that report that uh, they even um, said... Uh, immediately, the Supreme Court declares Gawuna as governor. They were so sure. And then they also told the police that they were going to send names of the courts that they were going to take these people to and so many other things that uh, scared us thinking about how compromised maybe our judicial system is. But let's just start with the comment on the fact that a party singled out 16 people who they felt were noisemakers in court. Uh, to arrest. Yeah, it's quite it's quite unfortunate, um, and uh, these are some of the things that have uh, continuously plagued our you know our democracy uh, seriously. Um, you know where we have uh, particularly people at the hands of affairs, people who are in power, who takes them who take themselves to be all in all they tend to control the judiciary who, who are supposed to be uh independent quote unquote they tend to be controlling i mean the police i mean the military who are supposed to be ordinarily uh in terms of i mean who are supposed to be ordinarily serving i mean the citizenry mm. so it's quite uh unfortunate like i said earlier uh, that, uh, in fact, what the, I mean, if that dick memo is actually true, is that, you know, the APC in Kano were already preempting the, 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 the they were like 100% sure that their governorship candidates, I mean, the gubernatorial candidates will be declared winner at the Supreme Court, mm. uh, which is um, shocking uh, because, you know, judgment uh, is not supposed to be leaked, is not supposed to be preempted. Uh, until it is uh, delivered, yeah. So, uh, but 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 all I will say is that perhaps this uh, bit of crisis is is is, is um, was averted uh, by what eventually yeah. became the I mean the decision of the court uh, because I, I I I I just want I I would have imagined or one would have imagined what would have. Uh, been the result of, um, I mean, the decision if it it was as planned by the, I mean, by the ruling party, uh, which is really unimaginable. Uh, because I, I was born in Kano, I understand Kano politics very well. Uh, it's a very very volatile state in terms of politics. Uh, little thing can spark a lot of uh, conflict, crisis here and there. Uh, but really, like I said earlier, it's really unfortunate uh, that uh, the party, uh, I mean, and it's not just the APC, seriously. I mean, it's, it's, it's all across board. If we were to be very truthful to ourselves, to, to be very sincere to ourselves, it's all across board that parties in charge in Nigeria tend to see themselves as all in all, uh, controlling every other thing, even things that are supposed to be very, very independent uh, even in things that are sort of in servitude to, to the citizens. It's, 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 it's quite shocking and appalling. And I think we need to do better as, 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 as a country, you know, to ensure that this democracy uh, serves all. Yeah, because uh, this 2023, the slogan was go to court. That, that's what everybody was talking about now because it seemed as if, and people were saying it's possible because. Uh, uh, they know that the courts will grant them the, the kind of judgment that they are expecting. In fact, let me quote what that letter 
according to Sahara Reporters, because uh, this is not from us, it's from Sahara Reporters. On behalf of the Kano State APC Chairman, we request that the individuals listed in the table below be traced and arrested immediately after the Supreme Court's verdict on Friday, January 12, 2024, which will declare Dr. Nasir Yusuf Gawuna as winner. Now, this is another disturbing fact. We also request that your department should, as a matter of urgency, file charges and accuse them of using the social media in uttering unguarded statements capable of promoting violence and inciting people against the APC government. So they are telling the police what to accuse these people of. Not really that these people have done this, but this is what they should be accused of after their man is sworn in or has, has won the uh, verdict, won the judgment. This is really disturbing. Yeah. Yes, it's really disturbing. You know, that is, is, uh, is what we've been uh, talking about, uh, uh, like we said, you know. Uh, parties in charge uh, tend to, like, have it, I mean, do all in all. They, they, they just want to be in charge, um, whether truthfully or not. You know, for instance, even propaganda, uh, which hunting, uh, which is a very popular phrase in Nigeria, you know. And, in fact, these are some of the reasons where if you allow us to digress a bit, people are skeptical about uh, state police, uh, state apparatuses of, uh, uh, I mean, the military, because uh, people are really uh, skeptical that even though, despite our security challenges, the insecurities there and there, if you have full-fledged uh, police or even the military um, with the state government, so they, they will use it to witch hunt their, their opponents, uh, which is not far from the truth, you know. Uh, so it's, it's, it's quite disturbing. It's quite very, very disturbing. And the, the shocking thing is that um, I wouldn't want to talk on behalf of the APC or even the police, but with happening across Nigeria, in terms, I mean, in, uh, with what has happened maybe historically, it was very, very possible that if the judgment had gone, I mean, to the APC's uh, uh, plan, uh, the police perhaps might have, you know, might have might have taken that action. Yeah, it's quite possible. Yeah, that you find this action. I mean, that the APC in Kano uh, were asking the police to take. They might have possibly take the the, the possibly take taking that action because you know those guys will be in power then, and it will be that, uh, uh, like I said, uh, the, the 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 force, the police force, which is supposed to serve the people generally who now uh, tilt towards, um, I mean, the, 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 the ruling entity, which is sad, you know. Uh, so we need to go uh, beyond this. Um, I mean, uh, I mean, talking to the police particularly now, we need to understand that uh, first and foremost is to serve the people before even the elite. Uh, if we have that kind of mindset, mindset uh, whatever, I mean, the elite or even the, the government accuses people with, it, it should be, uh, done, I mean, with facts and not just uh, propaganda and not just because they are opponents and so on and so forth or opposition, mm. you know. Uh, so we, we need to do better. Oh, well, uh, we, can't, we can't keep running away from state police because uh, the more we drag it, we know that um, uh, the more states are mm. trying to be autonomous when it comes to that. We, you, you see, we have the Amotekun here in the southwest. We had the Eastern Security Network in the East that have been branded uh, in one kind of way. Anyway, that was unfortunate. We have the Hezbollah even in the North where we have found that uh, uh, some of the laws that they have are not the same with the Constitution of Nigeria even. So if we keep dragging this, we'll still keep getting these kind of things. And why not we just make it legal and know that this police, state police is going to be answerable to the the federal police or the federal whatever, and we make sure that they are, they are sticking to the same laws and not having their own laws that will favor them in one section of the country and not others. Well, um, it is because you mentioned the fact that we are skeptical about state police, but no matter how we see it, it will come to pass one day. Otherwise, we will be taking the laws into our hands. But as it is, this is how we have to wrap it up. We, I, hope, I, I wish we had more time. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Abdullahi, for coming on the program this morning. Thank you very much. My pleasure. I don't know whether you celebrate Valentine's, but uh, happy Valentine's all the same. <laughs>
Okay. Um, uh, we've been talking with Mohammed Abdullahi. Uh, he's a social commentator, and uh, this is uh, where we're going to draw the curtain on today's uh, edition of the program. We'd like to thank you so much for being a part of this uh, show this morning. Happy Valentine's to you, and let it be a time for solidifying relationships rather than breaking them up. And do not expect too much. The times are hard as it is. Happy Valentine's, and bye. Let's do it again tomorrow. <laughs>